how mortgage pricing works. Mortgage rates are based off of mortgage-backed securities. Here is a three-month candlestick chart that shows how mortgage-backed securities performed. Depending on activity in the market, mortgage rates may change several times daily. When rates are posted, there is actually a range of rates. Each rate has a cost or credit associated. In this example, 4.25% would have a credit of 0.694% of the loan amount back to the borrower. 4.125% would be a cost of 0.074% of the loan amount from the borrower. There are pricing adjustments to almost every loan based on, but not limited to, the credit score, lock term, the time in which you need the interest rate locked for close on the loan, and loan amount. Rate quotes displayed in advertising can be misleading because they typically do not take into consideration any adjustments. Adjustments from lender to lender can vary. For today's example, we are going to use a credit score of 720 with 20% 20 down, needing 45 days to close at a loan amount of $200,000. The total adjustments are point seven three eight percent. A good mortgage consultant calculates different options and based on your individual needs can recommend an interest rate based on the amount of time you plan on keeping this loan before you sell the home or refinance, the amount of money you will have on hand, and the desired monthly payment that you want. In this example of the three interest rates it makes sense to choose the 4.25 percent loan if you think that you will have the loan in excess of over five years. The 3.75% makes sense if you think that you will have the loan in excess of 6.33 years. The other part of this is of course having the available money on hand to afford the interest rate. Obviously the 3.75% interest rate is a bigger gamble on whether you will return on your investment as unforeseen circumstances may force you to sell or refinance. In this illustration, we used a purchase as an example. Therefore, a down payment is calculated into the cash needed at closing. If you are refinancing, most of the time the closing costs can be financed in and there is no out-of-pocket expense. In column number one, although the interest rate and payment are the highest, the cash needed at closing is the lowest. And in column three, the interest rate is the lowest, but the cash needed at closing is the highest. Look at the APR, known as the annual percentage rate. You must be careful when using this figure to determine which loan is best if you are comparing different mortgage companies' pricing. Column number three by far has the lowest APR. The problem is that this loan actually has the highest closing costs. If you think that you may move or refinance in the first five years, then choosing the lowest APR will not be beneficial to you in this example. Please contact us for a free analysis at any time, whether you are purchasing or refinancing. We hope that this video helped you understand the mortgage process of pricing.